Merry Christmas, my friends. I want to wish you and your family very happy Christmas holidays. Enjoy your holidays, stay with your family and have the greatest time of the year. So my friends, in today's episode, we're gonna have this nice Bitcoin Christmas tree next to us and we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price because currently we are in a very interesting situation. So overall, I think during the Christmas holidays, Bitcoin potential is also gonna take a little holiday. So we most likely just gonna trade sideways, but there are also some signs that maybe till the end of the year, we're gonna see here a bigger move incoming so that's why we're gonna start today with the four hour time frame and then of course also head over to the bigger time frames but we're gonna focus today only on a bitcoin all right my friends so here in the four hour time frame currently we have a very interesting situation that is going on right now because first we have some bearish signs we have currently the rsi coming down to the 50 level and it also looks like that we might have a drop here below the 50 level and at the same time we could be still forming this head and shoulders pattern which could take us at least towards this 100 moving average in the four hour which is right now at $21,000 and if this moving average will not hold as a support then watch out here for the previous big resistance right at 20k. You can also see that the 200 moving average is coming now very close to this price level so it is still very likely that we're gonna see next year another correction towards this 20k confirm the 200 moving average as a support and overall also this important price level of 20k as a new support in order to bottom out again and then have another big bounce to the upside which can take us at least towards 30,000 dollar and even if bitcoin would have this drop down towards this price level we will still keep our bullish structure here and you can see that bitcoin always after a big pump always have a little correction towards the 200 moving average in the four hour and this is what i think could happen also here next only if we are able to go higher than twenty four thousand dollar again also close four hour candles above twenty four thousand dollar or even better above twenty four thousand five hundred dollar there is a high chance that maybe we could see one final push here towards 28 to 30 thousand dollar before maybe having a bigger correction and why i think there is still a high chance that we could maybe see one last push to the upside before maybe we're gonna correct is because currently we are still consolidating here in this symmetrical wedge and we have to wait here for the breakout before we can enter a trade so before we can say that we're gonna go higher or lower we have to wait here for this breakout and also for this confirmation out of this wedge and if we have a look into the rsi you can see that also here we are forming this falling wedge and currently we have this red trend line acting as a resistance and i think as soon as we're gonna break out here to the upside because sooner or later we're gonna break out here to the upside from this falling wedge in the rsi we're gonna see a big push to the upside and there is where we're gonna see if we are able to break higher than 24,000, or if here we are getting rejected again and in that case we could maybe fall below and then move towards our bearish scenario here towards 21 to $21,000. So the RSI in the four hour time frame, in my opinion, will tell us if we're gonna see here another big move to the upside or if we continue to have a correction because we can stay in this falling wedge for another couple of hours before we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside and if we go over into the bollinger bands you can see that currently we are trading right in the middle so so far we were trading in the bearish side and there is still a high chance that we're getting rejected here at 23,350 so watch out in case that we're gonna go below 22,470 dollar we could overshoot the bollinger band to the downside and if we are starting to close four hour candles below $22,460, then I think that we will see here this bigger correction, at least towards $21,000 to $20,000 before maybe we bottom out and go higher again. 
Also, we have currently all the indicators shifted to the downside. So also here we have to wait for a bullish cross in order to go higher again. So the four hour time frame, in my opinion, is still looking a bit bearish here, especially if we're starting to drop below $22,500 and also start to close for our candles but that of course will not change anything on the structure of this bull market that bitcoin is in right now so even if we would drop towards the 200 moving average here at 20k this wouldn't change anything even in the lower time frames this would be just a little correction before the next big move to the upside only if we would start to go below 20k then i think we could be in here for this major correction that i think also will come sooner or later the question is only if first we're going towards 30k or if first we're gonna see this big correction and then move towards new levels because if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that currently we are still closing daily candles above the nine day moving average so as long as we're closing above so currently above twenty-three thousand dollar, we should be good to go to the upside and we should expect continuity to the upside towards at least 28 to 30 thousand dollar if here we're gonna lose this moving average and watch out here for the 20 daily moving average right at 20 thousand eight hundred dollar so basically in this 20k area and if this one will not hold then watch out for the 50 100 and 200 moving average i don't think that we will go ever again below 15 to 14 thousand dollar but based here on the moving averages in the daily it is of course still possible that maybe we could even drop towards twelve thousand eight hundred dollar i don't think it's very likely but of course possible and since we are still overbought here as you can see in the RSI and also in my own indicator I think it is very likely that at least we're gonna test here this 20k area where also the 20 daily moving average is lining up and that of course wouldn't change anything on this bullish chart that you're seeing here in the daily because the trend is clearly shifted to the upside and as long as we're creating higher highs and higher lows everything is good to go towards the moon and now we can go over into the Bollinger Band in the daily because here you can see that although we are still trending here in the upper area so everything is still good to go to the upside we have stochastic in neutral condition after this uh, cool off here maybe we're gonna get here a bullish cross and that could of course lead into a pump towards $25,000 this is currently the top here of the Bollinger Band we also still have MACD and KSD shifted to the upside so the daily is still looking very bullish although of course also here we could see this possible correction towards this 20k area incoming anytime soon and if so my friends take that opportunity to scale in some nice long positions over on Bybit or Femix if you want to maximize your gains once we are going to go really parabolic away above 30 40 and 50 thousand dollar you definitely want to take a couple of nice long positions on the way up and if you still need an account over on Bybit or Femex make sure to use my referral links down below here in the video description because with my invitation links you will get also some extra bonus and now let's go back into the weekly time frame here in the Bitcoin price because as you can see by now we are of course looking very bullish in the weekly but at the same time also quite over exhausted and also very overbought so also here a retracement back down towards the nine weekly moving average at 18,600 or maybe even towards the 20 weekly moving average right now at $14,600 is still in the cards and I think if we would have such a correction take it as a Christmas gift so you can buy for the last time really cheap Bitcoin so the targets to the downside if we're gonna have such a correction now or later are clear and I think you should take that opportunity scale in longs and also buy more Bitcoin if something like this is going to happen and of course the targets to the upside are also clear the next targets are 28 to 30 thousand dollar especially this 30k is gonna be a very interesting price level because this is also the FIP extensions from the last market top and bottom that we had from 2017 to 2019 so 30k is gonna be a very key level if from there on we're gonna just shoot up straight towards 40 50 60 thousand dollar or maybe there we're gonna face some initial resistance then maybe come down to towards 20k retest the new support and then move higher so let's see what we're gonna see in the next couple of days and weeks i think most likely during the holidays we're gonna start to trade sideways because less people are trading and of course this could also maybe mean that we're gonna see a big pump or dump scenario at least a short-lived one because of less people in the market so less liquidity and because of that it will be way more easier to pump or dump the market so watch out my friends if we're gonna see 
see a short lift spike to the upside or to the downside don't do big moves just sit down and relax and wait for good opportunities don't FOMO in if we're gonna skyrocket from here and at the same time also don't panic sell if we're gonna see a major correction to the downside if we are coming down then take it as a good buy and long opportunity and if we are breaking out to the upside enjoy the right and don't FOMO in. If you don't have accumulated enough Bitcoin so far then just DCA every week a little bit into Bitcoin. Like this you will have a nice average price entry but if you just FOMO in and put everything you have on the sideline into Bitcoin once is going completely parabolic you most likely gonna end up to buy the top and like this you will not have a very good entry average so that's why my friends make sure always to DCA and if we have such dips or corrections towards new potential supports then make sure that you're buying when there is blood on the streets and not when everyone is blindly just buying and FOMO in so with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now enjoy your Christmas time happy holidays and I would very much appreciate if you can also do me a little little Christmas gift just click here on like and also subscribe to the channel that would be the best gift that you can do for me so thank you very much my friends for all your support and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye